Hello everyone, my name is Gap. Today I'll be showing you how to make your own custom settings for Discord. I, um, I mean automatic create system. So first of all, you would have this kit. I will link this down below. And then you will have to delete all the trains or maybe keep them all for external reasons for maybe like other things. First of all, you have to select your train. These are the trains you can. This is the train for my own game, Airport Express. I would use this train as an example, maybe like cyan. Yep, cyan. You just click this button, click this button, click this, click this, click this, click this, click this, and click this, click this, click this, click this, and delete. You can click delete also, and then you have this remaining train, like Falcon in terminal something, I don't know. Then you would type this automatic train kit. Automatic train kit is where you get the train kit. I recommend using Liha 78D because this does not really actually do good. Now click this, then you have this setting on your screen. Or I mean this part. These are all in the part, so you can just click this button, then move it by clicking this button again, and by this. The required setting for this is any brick, like these. So just delete these. Okay, there we go. Then we can just extend this by clicking on group and just scale it pretty long. And you can do this anywhere you want. <laughs> Maybe just like this easily. You also have to scale the side parts or just make the mid rails, these rails have to be, can collide off. Then you have to drag your train here and delete this white train for the tutorial. This train is just from the kit, so you can remove it anytime. Then you will need this red sensor for the train to stop. It doesn't matter for any way, just make it this and set any door left or right and make a transparency anything. It just has to be a transparent one to zero. If it's transparency one or zero, it's just it just doesn't matter. I use zero point eight after me, but most of my games are one. The part direction will be zero for the area where you came, like here means the arrow where you were going from. Like if I was here, I was going this way, it will go this way. If my train was from here coming to here, it will go this way. It's just basically where it came from. And then this is set line. And this is set name. Set line is like line 2, line 4, line 6 and then set name is the name of the train or anything like the destination and set door left and door right this is how you set door left or door right if you want it left door click this value again until it ticks if it, you want to be it door right then you have to untick this to make it door right I will use door left as I'll be spawning at here so it will be easier for me unless the train going the wrong way Then after this, you may test your train. If the train doesn't work, it is probably because the train has some uncollided reasons or issues. You can also contact me at my Discord if you have any problems or anything. My Discord is also listed down below in the description so you can meet me or maybe ask me any questions yet. So if you see this error, you have to go back to the main frame, then re rotate it by clicking this, then rotating it 180 degrees. Then you will have your train fully set it up. Once you're done setting up, select play. Once you start to play, you need to stop here quick for no reason. Then the set line and set name will do this. Now I'll show you what the set line and set name do this. I need it. Okay, so I'll do set line as line 14. And skippy stop. I'll put this as explanation. 
but some trains actually do not have a set line or set name for external reasons I do not understand. Please do not ask me. And then we get a like Skeppy Spot. This is this writes Skeppy Spot, and inside does not write anything because this train does not have a set line or a set. Yep, he doesn't have the set line setting. He only has the set name. Okay, so basically this is the train. You can make it time. I'll go. I'll show you how to make your first thing. Now, first of all, you need your train. Then open the script. Then go to vehicle seat. That shows the setting of the train temporarily. Then go inside. Then look at the train script. These are all the train scripts that included in this train for this driver's seat. The driver's seat is uncontrollable as people could drive the train nearly. So turn on disabled if it's not on. The train seat is this black thing. Or whatever you call it. It's like the sensor, the middle area. So it stops like the train will, the middle will stop at this red bar. Then you will have to go inside to train script. Train script and you will see C touch connect means the touch function. If the function name is called station sensor, it will start immediately by C dot throttle. Take a look here, and then you can set how long until the you can set how long until the system comes back at here. Wait twenty three seconds. The train will depart in twenty three seconds if they do not come. And this is the buzzer when the door is going to close. After three point seven seconds, the buzzer will stop, and the doors will close. After 1.8 seconds, the transparency will be zero for the doors and can light will be true. Then the C dot brother will be direct as you see here. Here is C dot throttle. Basically then it will drive away normally. And if you want to add a custom setting, then it is here. Before end. Close here. Else if and then take this child dot name. I'll first make a speed sensor equals speed sensor. Then, then it will do this thing like script dot parent dot max speed equals. Child, or like, oh, child dot speed dot value. Basically, like I get apart this, and then I recommend removing the arrow and the external things, like, and like the speed. And or like twenty five, yeah, no, it is good. Then you make the name called speed, as that's the value. The value takes it from this value as the boot value, um, the internet value. First max a twelve for my in, and then here eighty. I recommend changing the colors if you are maybe understandable more easily. Then click play. Also, you can also always choose another setting like object value. So, object value is where you can select another part. Of the and let me just do this shortly and wait 23 seconds, and I will show you how this yellow. Um, I think yeah. You have to anchor it, by the way. Can collide off. Scale high. You can scale anything. I'm just for you guys for your perspective. And speed to like one fifth, one thousand five hundred. Get and then click play by F five shortcut, or using your only life button, the play button. And then when you're in, you have to wait twenty three seconds for your door to close. Seven K. Why does this always happen? This GUI sucks. Then hop in the train before it departs, or else you cannot get the perspective. 
and like this. Um. Uh, anyways, every the train, every pass is sensor, so you have to go it further, so we can do a better perspective. Then I'll open the speed of the train. It will show in the sensor. Then workspace. Over here, then choose the train. Then choose the vehicle seat. Then you'll get the vehicle max speed here. It is locally 50 speed. After 24 seconds, it will depart. Or, I mean, like. 3 minutes, I mean 3 seconds, and this throttle will go up slowly, and the max speed will be higher by because of this, and you can see here, I can, I can change it to the network, and, and it just breaks, let's see the reason here, so value is not thing, so you just have to go back to the script and see what was the error. Parent dot max speed. Oh, here max speed equals child dot speed. Oh, what's wrong here? Um. <laughs> what child? Child. Wait, wait, what? Speed sensor, it's a speed sensor. Wait, what? Um, I'm actually having a bit confused here. Oh, that's the reason. Alright, so after renaming it, I think it will work. But it's just a small problem. The name. I forgot to rename it. Alright, so. Not be included because this is the easiest thing you can ever do in this life of editing unless you are not even a one percent coder and this is a speed sensor now so it will change the speed of it so let me let you see the perspective of it and see how it feels differently then show the perspective also the throttle will go up It's now 1,400 and throttle is minus 1 as because the throttle goes backwards 1. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So be sure to like and subscribe. I will also be doing a 1,000 Robux tournament. By the way, in my Discord. So I'll see you guys next time, I guess. I'll also be doing this part 2 about in Thursday or something. And I will see you.